the you know one of the uh, uh, ways that we judge turf health is uh, look at how green it is. So chlorophyll is a big part of that. So I, I wanted to take everyone through this process of how chlorophyll is built. And again, nobody should memorize this. I don't memorize this. I just put it down on a PowerPoint slide to prove that I'm not making it up. But glutamic acid is actually the starting material for chlorophyll. Um, that is, this is where your carbon comes from in your chlorophyll pigment. As you've noticed here, you need iron and you need magnesium to be able to make chlorophyll. But iron is not actually a part of the chlorophyll pigment itself. Magnesium is, but iron is not. So what happens is you need iron, you need magnesium, but you need glutamic acid, and eventually you make chlorophyll. Okay? If you don't have glutamic acid, you can't make chlorophyll. You can dump as much iron as you want. You can dump as much nitrogen as you want. But again, you're not going to be able to make chlorophyll without glutamic acid, which is powerful. So when we're going through our trials in the beginning and we're learning, we're doing these replicated studies, and we're seeing a better green, I mean, it, it jumps out at you, a deeper green, just by using glutamic acid. And you say to yourself, why is that? This is why. So why don't you jump back in, Kurt, and, uh, and, and get Keith on the line here to talk about what the amino acids have done you know, for him and his color down in his course. Yeah, right. And, you know, first of all, we're talking about improving plant efficiencies here by, by increasing protein production through nitrogen assimilation. We're not only through, not only are we impacting color here with, with better chlorophyll synthesis, but we're impacting photosynthetic efficiency. So uh, it's interesting, and I want to bring Keith on from from Coil Hollow to talk about a couple of his, his experiences and uh, um, some advantages that, that uh, Keith, that, that you you gained from the use of our Grow 40 product, which is our uh, which is our concentrated amino acid supplement that uh, that you used uh, prior to the the Wells Fargo P PGA Tour event this 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 year. Can you weigh in? Yeah, sure. Uh, hello, everybody, and. Uh... Uh, we've been very impressed with the, uh, the amino acids in our program. In fact, that I feel like that we don't have to put out as much nitrogen to get the color response. It um, goes along with what George said there. And uh, I feel like we have a much healthier plant, uh, better capable of handling stress of tournaments where we turn off the water and we expect to keep the color. Uh, we, we saw that firsthand this past year on our ryegrass. Um, even more so uh, impressed that the Bermuda grass base uh, that we're actually playing golf of during the Wells Fargo Championship, you know, the ryegrass just provides the color, but the, uh, uh, the Bermuda grass base underneath uh, actually was in very, very good health, uh, where we saw divots starting to recover through, uh, from rhizome and stolen growth, um, and where we were able to stop putting out sand and seed to fill divots uh, before the tournament. And, and all this comes with um, less than ideal soil temperatures where you would think that, you know, the, the Bermuda grass shouldn't start growing and, um, and maybe the ryegrass is just not going to flourish as well uh, without a lot of nitrogen. And we saw both of those things happen uh, with two halves of the amino acid package. Yeah, and, and Keith, uh, I think you mentioned to me prior uh, a couple weeks ago that that you that you really witness a, 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 a longer color and health residual when when you package the grow 40 in with a phosphate and uh, and some other the materials that you're spraying. Is that correct? Absolutely. Um, love uh, mixing the, the amino acids with um, with a phosphite. Um, uh, everything I've read about phosphites, you know, has improved um, movement throughout the plant and. You know, just it seems logical to me to mix an amino acid uh, and the Grow 40 in there with it, and just have it get everywhere it needs to get in the plant. Um, and even more so after uh, hearing George speak at at another class one time that um, you know the, the amino acids may help uh, things move around in the plant. So anything that in, in my mind, anything I can mix with an amino acid where I want it to move throughout the plant in different locations, uh, I try to use the grow, GrowPlex 40 in that situation. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Keith. Nice uh, observations. Um, and, you know, I just want to talk a little bit about how our, you know, these targeted aminos that we're using, they, they are increasing plant efficiencies and critical functions in the plant. And, and when we do that, 
we might be able to, to limit some nitrogen inputs. And I'm not talking about dramatically uh, reducing nitrogen applications, but just, just due to some of these material benefits that we get from, from our targeted aminos, they could allow us to limit nitrogen and control